Well, tomorrow, the Dolphins and Chargers meet in a divisional playoff game at Joe Robbie Stadium. These two franchises played in one of the most memorable postseason games ever 11 years ago. And, of course, Gail Gardner, that one, was in Miami, but at the old Orange Bowl. Old Orange Bowl, and it was a very steamy, hot, humid day that day. You know, Bob, when Chargers made the playoffs in 1979, it marked the first time they had gotten in since 1965 in the days of the old AFL. From 79 to 82, Don Coryell's Chargers made it to the postseason, getting to the AFC Championship game twice. But few playoff experiences compared to the Chargers-Dolphins matchup in the 81 postseason. We led the, the National Football League in passing six straight years. That's never been done since then. It was never done before that. He was really on the cutting edge of uh, passing offense in the NFL. It was Coriel. It was his offense. It was his team. Here, Coriel, perhaps the deepest and most ingrained memories of that era, took place in 1981 as the Chargers arrived for the AFC Divisional game against Miami in the heat and humidity of the Orange Bowl. It's amazing how certain games sort of define a, a person or player's career. And for most of us that played in the Miami game, that game was it. Behind bouts, the Chargers jumped out to a 24-0 lead. Sitting on the sideline with Charlie Joyner, he went on and, you know, pretty much in a quote, he says, you don't do this to a Don Shula team in the playoffs. He's either going to pull David Woodley out of the game, he's going to put in Strzok, he's going to start throwing that football, pull out all the uh, tricks out of his bag, and we're going to be here all day. Hard throw. Look at that! What a play! What a play! Hall of Fame! Hall of Fame football play! That goes to Canton! The fans, they, they tell me, never sat down at halftime. They were so excited about the play, and... Our players were excited. Uh, they couldn't wait to get back out onto the field for the second half. By the fourth quarter, a Tony Nathan sweep put the Dolphins on top 38-31. But with 58 seconds left, Bouts tied it on a nine-yarder to James Brooks. After all these years, uh, uh, I'm willing to admit that I overthrew Winslow and got very lucky in that James Brooks caught the pass. But Strzok wasn't done yet as he got Uwe Van Schaman in position to kick the winning 47-yard field goal with four seconds left in regulation. I don't close my eyes. I don't put my head down. I don't pray. I just said, miss it, Doc. I don't miss it. <laughs> Block. No good. We go to overtime. It was a dehydrated and exhausted Kellen Winslow who blocked the field goal attempt. Symbolic of the superhuman effort he gave all day. Physically, the Dolphins were wearing me out in the first half and in the third quarter. Not often in any athlete's career does a moment come when you get a chance to really test just how far you can go. I was fortunate to have that happen for me in Miami. In overtime, both Ralph Benershka and Von Schaman missed short field goals. But then, over 13 minutes into OT, Benershka, who had almost died two years earlier, from an intestinal disorder known as Crohn's disease was brought in to try to win it from 29 yards out. I didn't think I was going to live and then I got a second chance to live and was able to return to the team and here in this little football game my life was being lived out again and I had a second chance to do it. Ed Luther holds it is up and the game is over the San Diego Chargers move on to the AFC championship game. I played with some great guys. Everybody had confidence in everyone else. We were a great ball club. We loved each other. Amazing emotion that brings to the surface more than a decade later. It's an extraordinarily emotional game, and I'll tell you, Kellen Winslow eligible for the Hall of Fame this year, and if, uh, certainly if anyone should go in, he certainly deserves that honor. You know, of course, they lost the following week in that horrendous game in Cincinnati where it was minus 
59 wind chill, right. and they never got to a Super Bowl. That window of opportunity that we've talked about so often, that was it for those Chargers. They made the playoffs in 82, never could get to a Super Bowl. So